What's up, ballers? Hey guys, it's kimchi and tofu. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to Kuroko's basketball episode number 44. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, ta 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 tell me. Or tell me why. No, you don't know that K-pop song? No. Tell me, tell me, ba 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 ba. All right, we're going to episode number 44. So Almania is defeated. Our first generation of Miracle is out of the Winter Cup. Yes. Which is your favorite character. Almania. Uh, yeah, yeah, but hey, like we said, it's he didn't get defeated, he got saved. He got saved, yeah. and he's happy. I'm very satisfied with what I saw at the zone versus zone, though there was absolutely no disappointment from what we saw with Almina's performance and the game between Satan and Toe. But I am very excited to see the other goals that we haven't seen yet. Me too. I'm super excited. Who's going to be next? Who's our next <laughs> opponent? And the thing is, we're going to Winter Cup. I think this is where all the superpowers comes out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to see those too. So. It's just getting started. <laughs> yeah, it's getting started. Kagami just barely got a little bit unleashed. Man, Kagami Unlocked. though, man, he's... Let's, let's give it to Kagami. He's been really stepped up, yeah, right? Yeah, he stepped up the game. Tobu, let's go! Start the show! Yeah! Who's this? I don't know. <gasps> What's wrong with Kuroko? Wait, what? Wait, what happened? What? Why is everybody... Wait, What's everyone passed out. Everyone? Even some random girl. Wait, there was a random girl in there too? Look at an apron. What? <laughs> You're the only one that's uncool. Make sure we don't watch get catch colds. Dude, they probably passed out because they celebrated too hard. They're probably all pat they, uh, that's what it is. They're too young for alcohol. She said it's a good it's probably like food coma or something because they're oh, so tired. Oh maybe that's what it is. Who's the next opponent? Wait, he, he already knows? Hold on. Research the next. <laughs> That's why he's tripping because everyone passed out oh, in his house. That's what it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. God, that scary. So yeah. he was pissed off because everyone's passed out in his house. <laughs> okay. Dude, I was wondering what the heck that was. Right? They Dude, it was like a death scene. They trolled us. Yeah. Damn. We should have known because Kagami is the only one that can eat the most. They right. probably ate a lot or something and... And he has his own place. Yeah. His house is so nice. Yeah! yeah <laughs> Dude! Jeez, look at that big screen TV. He even's got a toaster oven. Yeah, I don't have that. I'm not gonna be a shadow anymore. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so he's so simple. My simple life is just eat, sleep, basketball. Uh-oh, oh, she cooked no. again. <laughs> look at this. Cook. Oh, this is funny. I don't know. Why do I have a feeling that her food's gonna taste good? Because she's been trying? No, look at that. Oh, it was her. Her hair just looks different. That was so fast. Look at this. I told you her oh. cooking got better. <gasps> what? Look at that. Come on. Actual hot pot? <laughs> they're not saying it looks good. They just say it looks normal. <laughs> and they're surprised too. <laughs> Make Kuroko try it first so yeah. you can be the first victim. Poison control. What the what heck? What the heck? You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. No, she ruined it. Oh my god, I oh feel like no. Tefe's gonna be the first one to knock out. Oh my gosh, this is so gross. <laughs> That's why they knocked out because right. of food. This looks so disgusting. What? What? Oh my gosh, look how it's Kiwi. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> first time. Kiwi. You spit. It's good. It's good. This is the weirdest mixture in the world. She literally put the whole freaking fruit section, in, section there. in there. That's so funny how he sneaked in. Kagami even closed the door <laughs> too, and Kuroko's still there. Ah. Yeah, certainly this is such embarrassing things. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be sensitive here. I love Kuroko's positive thinking. Look at this. Kuroko is his light too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh. And here it starts. Here it starts. Oh no. Oh no! You know what this is? The coach killed him. Yeah, the food poisoning! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude! Did Kagami not eat the food? <laughs> Slow acting poison. 
<laughs> oh my god, dude. She killed them all. Oh, it's no. a delayed effect. <laughs> That's why it tasted good. Oh no, it's hitting him too. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh oh, what is it? Protein. She put a bunch of protein in there? <laughs> she pumped supplements in there. Oh. Dude, she still won that knockdown look. It wasn't tiredness. <laughs> it was her. <laughs> Wait, what? Is there somebody under Kuroko. that bed? <gasps> what? what? Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? Why is there? <laughs> Wait, what? Who is that? Who do you think? That, that's gotta be Kagami's uh, coach because you're yellow hair. What is she doing boobs. here? Oh Hi my god! god. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's so sexy. Mm. Well, do you kiss your teacher? Like <laughs> yeah, that? yeah. What do they behave to your teacher? Oh, oh, she speaks Japanese too. Yeah, Alexandra Garcia, UGLA. So it must be like UCLA. Wow, college state championship. I like the sexy jazz music in the back. Oh my oh, gosh! Wait, hold on. Oh, she's oh, what the? <laughs> Dude, this woman's so old and she's kissing all these high schoolers. She only kissed girls and children. On the lips. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't prepared for this. Wow. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> it's cool. So weird. It's, she's hot. <laughs> oh, so this is where they met Alex. <laughs> wow. Holy cow, look at the crossover those two like nothing. <laughs> oh wait, so who's gonna be playing? I yeah. think we're gonna be seeing uh, Midorima or something? We're gonna find out who it is. Wow, look at that aura going up on him. Midorima! Midorima! That's who they're going again. <clears throat> look at this green aura! Let yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah, he's at a different level now. Superpowers gone up. Easy peasy, money, me, measy. 109, yeah, they're gonna win. Ooh, oh. she's gonna make him practice more? I think she's gonna give him a new ability or something. Ooh. Yeah, she did ex they're monsters. Yep. Jordan's next after yes. the, the next generation, generation of miracles now. She's Whoa. saying how good he is. On par? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, new, new ability. ability yeah. Yes, that's why she's here. Did Kuroko go with him too? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, look at his swag style. What? what? Shooting! Oh my god! Wait, Kuroko's gonna s try scoring now? Oh yeah, what the dad said. So they're gonna make Kuroko shoot now. Yes. He has to evolve. Okay, now I see what they're trying to do with Kuroko shooting. If he can't use invisible drive, shoot. Yeah, but if Kuroko learns how to shoot now, he'll be re really unstoppable. And not because he's gonna score. Uh, I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> he was here! <laughs> this is like back to their elementary days! I know, I love this scene. I was just about to say that he literally just lost, but he's helping Kuroko the next day. Right? So cool. I love this guy. So he does feel the pain from losing. Damn, I love seeing <coughs> Aomine's and Kuroko's relationship. <laughs> Aomine gonna teach Kuroko some four limit shots, <laughs> right? Oh, yes. Ah. What was that little head pat? Ah, we used to practice like this a lot in middle school. Oh yeah, sorry, middle school, not elementary. Oh, you said elementary? That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that right, the training with Alex, so it's, everything's done, they're gonna play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, she's 
<laughs> she was like straight up naked, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of training? <laughs> Stamina training. <laughs> I like, we're seeing them all train again in, in between, which is good because they have to in order to beat the next opponent. Whoever it is, they're gonna tell us. Wow, down to 32 uh, team sound? Yeah. Yeah! Second round, let's go. 16 games? 16 games? That means we're gonna be seeing every of the. No. Akashi? Oh, shoot, they're starting like. Wait, the Kuroko and Kagami's benched. Yeah. <laughs> God. God. Hmm. Nakamiya. Nah, they don't look that strong. They're gonna beat him. Yeah. Okay, so basically what they're doing is with Kuroko, why he needs to shoot uh -huh. is because you know how in the first game against Aomine, so they used all their tactics. So everyone knows about Kuroko's uh, vanishing drive and everything, right? Yes. Technically for a team that watch, sees it for the first time and don't know Kuroko, they have to come out and guard Kuroko. But the thing is, now they know that Kuroko doesn't score, mm -hmm. so that means that they don't have to block Kuroko. No. So so they, when Kuroko's driving in the middle, they don't have to leave their opponent yeah. uh, to block Kuroko because they see Kuroko's not a threat. He doesn't shoot. Yeah. But before, all the teams that didn't know about this came out because they didn't know what the heck he was doing. Yeah. But as long as the team is sticking man to man and they don't leave their side and just leave Kuroko alone, then basically Kuroko can't do anything. Kuroko has an open shot. Yeah, he has an open shot, but remember, he doesn't shoot. Which is why they want him to shoot. Yeah, because once, if he starts to learn how to shoot, then they have to come out and block him. Yes, so because, he can work both ways. Yeah, because after this match, the team's gonna be like, dude, this guy doesn't shoot. Mm -mm. So don't even guard him. Nope. Just let him go. That's just it. That's how you counter Kuroko. But then once you see him shooting, then they have to be like, oh crap, what yeah. do we do? They're gonna be confused so that it's gonna just be a mess. Yep, that's why I was thinking like, how far can Kuroko get without shooting? And of course, you know, he's gonna be shadow and light and all that, but you have to have some presence of like scoring Yes. so that the opponent defense has to come out and block you. But now they saw the first game and they're like, they're gonna be like, okay, we know how this works. Mm -hmm. So we can go a little be easy on Kuroko yeah. and that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna uh, underestimate him. They're gonna underestimate him and Kuroko's gonna start scoring and they're like oh shoot they're gonna throw them all off and yeah. be like uh oh okay this guy now he can score okay we gotta get back into guarding him again. Yes. Yeah so that's what it is. Now let's talk about Alex. Oh damn what I, I didn't think she was gonna come out so sexy here. But she's very open. Seductive or something. Yeah but they say that she's seductive in a non-seductive way. Like a non-seductive way? Yeah, one? she's a non-seductive, seductive person. Ah, I see. I, she kisses only women and children. Women and only... I think it was a little bit over-exaggerated maybe yeah. because, you know, the Americans, when they come in and hug and then they give a kiss on the cheeks. Because I remember when I used to do that and I had, like, like friends from Korea, like, literally yeah. fresh from Korea and not learn English or American culture. When I come over here and I kiss up, like, like you know. Yeah. They're like, oh my God, you kissed me or something. It's like, whoa. Like, oh yeah. It, it's, not, it's new to them. But to me, when people kiss each other on the cheek, it's either family or it's um, when you come from like a Spanish right, right. descent. That's it's not true. really American. It's not really, oh yeah, it's not really it's American. It's not really American. The only Americans that do that is like when they're very close related to you when it comes to family. So that kind of threw me off. I'm like, why is she kissing everybody? Uh -huh, I see. Yeah, I, I mean, you're right. I mean, you don't just go randomly kiss. No. Yeah, yeah, that's just, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I, I see it. The only reason why I said that was just because she's an she's American. She's yeah. not Japanese, right? So they want to show the different cultures. Yeah, the cultural differences. That's why, like, maybe her just sleep like naked or something. It was a little bit over exciting to a point where it's just like Americans are just like very easygoing or. Yeah, they're very easygoing. They're carefree. Yeah, they're very carefree because if you really know, like, the Asian side, how what they think of the American culture, they're like, wow, like, they party or like they're yeah. very carefree or they're, they're very open minded. Yeah, they're very open minded. They're very relaxed. Whereas, um, Asian.
Asians is more modest. Uh, image, you have to. Yes. There's, there's like it's a cultural difference. Totally different. Yeah, that I felt like that's what they were trying to show in here. Yes, but, but they showed it extreme. Yeah, to the extreme, and you know, uh, I thought it was, it was just funny. funny. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was, it was funny. funny. Yeah, so I think that's the deal with the whole situation with Alex and everyone. Now it's crazy how Alex is coming here and with Kagami because uh, she did train both of them. And yes. the fact that she's going towards Kagami instead of his friend. I know that she said that you'll get destroyed mm -hmm. against them with your current state right now because she knows how his friend plays. Yes. And she knows about Mura Sakibara and the Yosen site. You guys will get destroyed. That's why she's probably helping Kagami. Yes, because she had more training time with his friend than she did with Kagami. Exactly. So that's why I think it's more of like she loves them both. So it's like, hey. You will get destroyed. I need you to pump it Step up. Step up the game. She wants to see a good game. She wants to see a good game. Yeah. So now thinking about that, when she says that Yozen will destroy them, that means that Yozen is going to be freaking strong. Yep. They, that means they literally have two generation of miracle because she said that his friend, the point guard, is just as strong or on par with the generation of miracles. Yes. And we're playing Yozen next too. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not playing Yozen next. I'm not next. next, but like generation of miracle next. After this one, so it already got in half. It was 32, then it got dropped down to 16. Then after everybody plays, they'll be dropped down to eight. Mm -hmm. So eight, oh yeah, the round of 16. Four, two. Yeah. So we have three more games after this. Three more games. Yeah. So it has to be Yosen. Yosen, uh, Shok. Shotoko. Shotoko. And um, oh, he says team. Says team. Yeah. Ah, yes, that's right. Wait, so is this tournament going to be saving, destroying each generation miracle as we go? I guess so. That's what it looks like. Yeah, because yeah. on the last tournament, it was we see them go against each other or we see them go against each other, right? Yeah, and I think they're going to give that to us again. It was just weird that they gave us Almanay's team the very first round. I think it was right. You think it was right? Yeah, I think it was right that they gave Almanay because um, let's say that we face Almine later. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, for me, now that I think about it, it's like I don't think it'll match. Well, yeah, but for us, it was unexpected. Oh, it was unexpected, yeah. Yeah, it was unexpected because he was the hardest team we faced. Exactly. Last time. Well, but we only went against, what, two Generation of Miracle, three? Yeah, and we had beat them, whereas him we didn't beat. So it's like Kisa they're like... wasn't really trying, though. Come on. After we saw Kise versus Almine, would you really say that Kise was trying against Satan? I think he's going to try harder. Yeah, that's why I, I think Kise is going to be a good match. Um, Bidorima, I don't know how this match is going to be, but I am excited because we see this new aura yes. of Midorima. We're seeing all these auras from these people. You are right that they're gonna step it up a notch. I, We're gonna just go super power saiyan. Whoa. I told you this the winter cup is gonna be the time where we see a lot of superpowers. Yeah. And whatever the hell Alex taught Kagami, Kagami in like a couple days, in three days, we'll find out. I don't know, what is it gonna do? Fly from the half court? <laughs> now nah, it's not I don't think it's physical training because it just doesn't make sense no. that you jump high whatever in three days I think it's more of some kind of basketball move that he learned yeah probably a move yeah it's a move it, it's gonna be towards more street ball move I think um, dude Kagami is growing the new ability Kuroko is gonna learn how to shoot I can't wait I can't wait yep, either. I can't wait I really want to see Yosen I really do I, I really do me too I feel like this game is gonna be fast what Murasaki Bara? No, the game that uh, they're going to... Yeah, come on, Kuro, team. You, did you know Kuroko no basket? <laughs> fillers? What fillers? If it was any other anime, it will be five more episodes of the training with Alex and everything yeah. else. Yeah. But Kuroko's like, nah, let's just... Let's throw them into the next game. Yeah. Let them train some more, and then we throw them into the big boys. Uh, dude, this is... The Kuroko is just straight up hype and entertainment, man. Yeah. And, like, really good. I, I just... It's, it's, it's great. It's great Wonderful. entertainment, guys. Yeah. yeah. So cool. All right, guys, that was episode number 44. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys soon for 45. Until then, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.